Find the center of a circle passing through the point 6 minus 6, 3 minus 7 and 3, 3. So if we have the circle, we have P as the center x, y and we have these three points A, B and C. We have three radius here. One is PA is one radii. Then we have PB is the other one which are equal. PB will be equal. And then we have the third one, PC. We know all these three are equal because they're the radii of the same circle. So let's find, using the distance formula, the, the length of each of these radius. So we'll take the first radius, and uh, that is PA, where P is XY, and the A is 6 minus 6. X1, X y1, y, x2, 6, y2, minus 6. So the formula for PA distance will be x1 minus x2, the whole square, plus y1 mm -hmm. minus y2, the whole square. So we will put here PA equal to, we know, x1 minus x2, so x minus 6, the whole square plus y1 minus y2 so y plus 6 minus or minus is plus the whole square so our PA we square it on a square on both the side so I get PA square equal to x1 x minus the whole square plus y plus 6 the whole square we just keep this here now we go ahead and find our PB same thing for PB we know P is P is XY so X1 X Y1 Y P is 3 minus 7 so X2 3 Y2 minus 7 we use distance formula for PB under root x1 minus x2 the whole square y1 minus y2 the whole square and when we put the values for PB we have x1 minus x2 the whole square x minus 3 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 y plus 7 the whole square minus of minus is plus under root Squaring on both the sides, we have PB square equal to X minus 3, the whole square, plus Y plus 7, the whole square. So we found PB here. Now we've got to find PC. So we have PC. To find PC, P is XY. So X1, X, Y1, Y. C, 3, 3, X2, 3, Y2, 3. We get on to the distance formula, PC equal to under root, X1 minus X2, the whole square, Y1 minus Y2, the whole square. So PC equal to X1 minus X2, X minus 3, the whole square, y1 minus y2, y minus 3, the whole square. So now we have PC equal to, we'll square it both the sides, so we have PC square equal to x minus 3, the whole square, plus y minus 3, the whole square. So we have found PC. Now we found all three. So our PA square, we found it as x minus 6 the whole square plus y plus 6 the whole square then we found pb square pb square is x minus 3 the whole square plus y plus 7 the whole square and here in the end we found pc square which is x minus 3 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square. Now I know all these three are equal. Our 
PA equal to PB equal to PC. I'm going to start by equating these two. Why am I starting by, I'm going to start by equating PB square equal to PC square. Why have I chosen these two? Because if you notice very carefully, PB has X minus 3 and PC also has X minus 3. So now when I write my PB is X minus 3 the whole square plus Y plus 7 the whole square. And for PC I'll write X minus 3 the whole square. Why are they equal? Radii of the same circle. And here I can cancel X minus 3, X minus 3 on either sides. So what I'm left with now Y plus 7 the whole square plus Y minus 3 the whole square. So I go ahead with this now. So Y square A plus B the whole square A square B square 2AB 14Y plus 49 equal to y square minus 6y plus 9. y square y square cancels 14y plus 49 equal to minus 6y plus 9. So 14y the minus 6 becomes plus 6 here 9 minus 49. So 20y equal to minus 40 and your y becomes minus 2. So here I have found the value of y. Now I need to find the value of x. To find the value of x, I will go to the other two. I'm now going to equate PA square and PB square. So let me do PA square equal to PB square. And uh, I, I know that my value of y is minus 2. Now my PA was x minus 6 the whole square, y plus 6 the whole square. And my PB is x minus 3 the whole square, y plus 7 the whole square. Now wherever there is y, I'm going to put minus 2. So x minus 6 the whole square, minus 2 plus 6 the whole square. I put the value of y here. This value of y, I have put here for y equal to. And this is x minus 3 the whole square, now again for y, I'm going to put minus 2. For this y, minus 2 plus 7, the whole square. Now let me carry on. x square minus 12x plus 36 plus, this is 4 square. Here, x square minus 6x plus 9 plus 5 square. And you keep solving this. So you have here minus 12x, the minus 6x become plus 6x, then this will become 9 plus 25 minus 16 and minus 36 minus 16. You get minus 6x minus 18, your x is equal to 3. So that circle that we had earlier the circle that we had earlier, the center we had taken as P and though it will be 3 minus 2 is a center of that circle. Then we had point A here, we had point B and we had point C. So in this, uh, in this uh, sum, the property we use that the radii of the circles are the, here we had the 3 radius, we said the 3 radius are equal, this equal to this radius equal to this radius. And then we found the each radius and we equated them.